Hi everyone, this is Luna from Aspiggy Murger and today we are going to play and review Fluttering Souls. So at the end of the video I will give you my final thoughts on the game. In the meantime, the three words I will use to describe this game are clever, relaxing and fast. If you like this video, please consider to subscribe to my channel for similar content. Fluttering Souls is a two-player game in which players collect butterflies in order to gain victory points. At the end of the round, the player with the most points gains a white butterfly. The first player to collect three white butterflies wins the game. Shuffle the layout card and place the deck on the table. Draw a card and place it face up. Remove the great egg fly from the butterfly deck and shuffle the cards. Place the cards on the table as shown on the layout card. The white rectangles represent face-up cards, the black ones face-down cards. Place the remaining cards aside face-down next to the great egg fly and the white butterflies. The player with the most colorful clothing will start the game. The second player will take the great egg fly card. In a turn, the player must take an available butterfly and add it to their collection. Collections are visible for both players. When a face-down card is available, flip it over. Players continue taking cards, one at a time, until there aren't cards available. At the end of the round, points are scored. The player with the most points gains a white butterfly. For a new round, shuffle the butterfly cards and draw a new layout card. The player that lost the previous round decides who starts the game. The Great Egg Fly allows the player to replace a card they collect with it as long as the card opens a face-down card. Flip the card before placing the Great Egg Fly. Once a player collects the Egg Fly, they will be able to use it. Blue Morpho scores 4 points for every 3 cards. 88 scores 3 points for every 2 cards. Swallowtail can be scored in pair as a single wild card to another set or as 2 points per card. Monarch scores 2 points for 2 cards, 5 points for 3, and 8 points for 4 cards. The Great Egg Fly doesn't score points, but its holder will win a tie. The first player to win 3 white butterflies wins the game. Ok, so that's how you play Fluttering Souls. One of the things I like the most about this game is how fast it plays. And it plays fast in a way that you want to keep playing kind of thing. The first time I play it, my partner won and, uh, and he won the third, uh, the third butterfly. So I was like, okay, I won. And I was like, yeah. And I started like dealing the cards again and shuffling. And he was like, what are you doing? I won the game. And I was like, oh, you're right, it's over. So it's nice that gives you this little thing like it's fast. So if you don't have a lot of time, you can just play it really fast and it's really relaxing. It's not competitive, but it doesn't need like a ton of strategy. But you need to think the possibilities that the other player is going to play in order for you to win the game. And that is the good thing about the game, that as it plays so fast and it lets you that thing that I want to keep playing. So if you have the time, you can start a new game. So I really enjoyed that, how fast the game is and that little flavor that lives on you. Okay, so another thing that I really enjoyed about this game is how it gives the second player an advantage, that is the Great Egg Fly. This card gives you the opportunity to block one of the cards in order for the other player not to take it and hopefully you can take it in future turns. And not only that, also every time that a player loses it gives the possibility to that player to choose who is going to start the next round, which really levels up the opportunity for the other player. Something else that I will really like to mention about the game is that there is no language dependency on this game and that the cards have beautiful art as you saw and also explain really well and easy how each card scores at the end of the round so it's really clear. So yeah these are my final thoughts or fluttering souls.